Okay, this is going to be an introductory tutorial um, on uh, Linux for um, uh, beginners. And I'm using um, VMware Player here, and I've got a recent install of Ubuntu. This is Ubuntu 11.10. It's got a new desktop, this Unity desktop. But I'm just going to use this as an introductory video to talk about the terminal, the bash shell, and some basic commands for navigating around the command line interface. So I'm going to go over here to this home, and I'm going to search for the terminal. So I'm going to type in terminal, and there it is. All right, and now I have a command line terminal. You can see right off the bat from the command line terminal, it has my username. Um, it's my username, Dan, right? And this is the um, prompt. You can see the dollar sign. And then the tilde stands for my home folder. So we're going to talk about some basic commands right now. So the first command that we're going to learn is the um, print working directory command, PWD. If I type in PWD and I hit enter, it tells me which directory I'm in. And you can see here that if you want to look at these directories as folders, I'm in the root folder, which is signified by the forward slash, and then I'm in the home folder, and then I'm in the Dan folder. So I'm in my home folder, right? Now, if I want to navigate around these folders, I can use the change directory command or CD. So what I can do is I can say CD dot dot and that will go up one directory. So I'll go up one directory and then I'll type PWD, print working directory, and now I'm in the home folder, right? And then if I hit change directory space dot dot and I hit enter and then I do PWD, you'll see that all you see is a forward slash and that means I'm now in root. Now, so we've learned two commands so far print working directory which shows you what directory you're in and um, and CD which is change directory now um, PWD is useful to know to orient to yourself to where you are in the file system but an even more useful command is the LS command which is the list command which will tell you the files in the directory and so if I type LS I see the files and folders or the files and directories that are in the root folder, right? Once again, the root folder is signified by a forward slash and it is the top of the file system. If you wanted to compare it to Windows, it would be like the um, C drive. Okay, it's it, you can't go any higher in the file system than the root directory. So in here you can see the um, the blue uh, the blue signifies um, folders or directories and let's see here, uh, so you can see here there's the bin folder which has um, executable programs in it right there is the um, home folder where the user folders are located right the lib folder for library files um, uh, let's see here you've got uh, the dev folder for devices right the boot folder for booting the system right um, all kinds of folders in here right var which is short for variables for, this is a lot of uh, stored variable information, information that changes regularly, right? Um, the etc directory, the etsy directory, which um, is uh, has configuration files in it also, used uh, like for uh, system utilities and things like that. Um, and anyway, if we want to go into some of these folders, we could just say, all right, change directory. And since home is in this folder, right? we can just type cd home and now we're in the home directory now this um, command uh, was a um, that I used was the command was change directory or cd and then the path was what we call a relative path which um, tells which is a path oriented to where you are in the file system there's two types of paths that you need to know about and that is a relative path which we can use or we can use an absolute path. Now an absolute path starts from root. So for instance, I'm going to go into, I'm going to do an ls, and there's my folder Dan, so I'll just do a change directory into Dan. Once again, that's a relative path. Now I can supply it the relative path to get to my Dan folder, right? Just like that, change directory and then Dan, and that'll take me into the Dan folder, or I can give it an absolute path. And an absolute path would be something like this. 
change directory, root, then home, then dan. And if I do that, that's called an absolute path. And both have the same effect. They just take me where I need to go in the file system. So once again, I can type the relative path or the absolute path. And the absolute path is going to start with the forward slash, which is, it signifies the root directory, right? 